Track Monitoring and Measurement on Indian Railways What are the primary methods used by Indian Railways to assess track quality? Indian Railways employs two main approaches, subjective assessments by experienced permanent way staff, through visual inspections on foot or by vehicle, and objective assessments using specialized mechanized equipment. The primary mechanized means are track recording cars, TRCs, oscillation monitoring systems, and oscillograph cars. What is the core operating principle behind track recording cars, TRCs, in measuring track geometry? TRCs utilize an inertial principle for most measurements. They measure lateral and vertical accelerations using accelerometers. These acceleration values are then integrated twice to determine the location of the accelerometers. Displacements between the rail and accelerometer locations are measured using transducers, LVDT laser sensors. These measurements, combined with gyroscope readings to correct for coach roll and yaw, are used to derive vertical and lateral rail profiles. How is gauge measured by track recording cars, and what are the variations in this measurement? Gauge measurement is achieved using specialized sensors. Two types are used, contact gauge sensors, which are suitable up to a recording speed of 100 kmph, and contactless, laser-based sensors, which can be used up to 160 kmph. The choice of sensor depends on the desired speed of operation. What are the pre-run procedures and operational requirements for track recording cars? Before any recording run, the TRC system must undergo a quick calibration during daylight hours. Additionally, TRCs must run a continuous path between two major stations and must utilize main lines only through stations. What is the minimum speed requirement for accurate track parameter recording by ATRC? The track parameter recording is independent of speed above a minimum of 20 kmph. Below this speed, the inertial platform does not function accurately and the data obtained is not considered valid. Therefore, any recording below 20 kmph is considered non-recorded. Besides track geometry, what other aspects of track quality does a TRC assess? Beyond measuring track geometry parameters, TRCs are also used to assess ride quality. They achieve this by recording acceleration peaks and calculating a ride index which reflects passenger comfort and stability. The ideal speed to measure ride quality is the maximum speed of the section TRC. What is the difference between the measurement methods used for vertical and horizontal profile of the track versus gauge measurement? The vertical and horizontal profile is determined by integrating the accelerations of the car twice to determine the position and combining it with LVDT laser sensor readings to determine the vertical and lateral position of the rails relative to the car body. However, the gauge measurement is made using contact or contactless laser-based direct measurement of the distance between the two rails. Why is it essential for TRCs to have a through run between two major stations and run through main lines only? This requirement is in place to ensure continuous and consistent data collection without interruptions. Running only on main lines through stations prevents interference from side tracks or speed restrictions due to switching. This strategy optimizes data gathering, prevents unnecessary stops, and provides a representative sample of track condition over the section.